This is Health Digest segment on nutrition and fitness. Now, on this episode, we are looking at the things you need to know when you're buying your vegetables. What are the telltale signs that your vegetables are fresh and they will serve your needs for which you're buying? To take us through this segment is my colleague, Belinda Otieno, who is a nutritionist, and she'll explain to us those things that you need to know on some of the select vegetables that we'll pick. And we'll start with pilipili hoho, as it's commonly called, or capsicum. What are the things that we need to know? So, uh, the capsicum comes in three varieties. You either have the yellow one, you can have the red one, or you can have the green one. The green one is the most common that we've used mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. So, if you're to buy uh, the fresh fresh one, eh, it's usually firm and it's not withered on the sides, on the, on the peelings. Mm -hmm. So, depending on what you like and what you'd like to buy, then look at the firmness. You actually don't need to press because they're usually visible. You'll be able to see it. And also, avoid anything because they're delicate in nature. Mm -hmm. They usually come with, sometimes they come when they're broken. Do not touch anything that is broken. So, what you need to look at uh, when you're buying your pipi hoho, one, the stem is usually firm to hold. And then when you look at the fruit, uh, the hoho itself, then it is firm all over and it is not withered or it's not bruised or broken at that point. Mm -hmm. So either variety, whatever you want or whatever you want to buy, be it red, be it uh, yellow, be it the green one, mm -hmm. look at the freshness. And uh, one thing that you also need to learn and to get to know is, um, is uh, by the time they get to the market, they have a very short lifespan. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if, uh, they need to be in a place where they're cheap. So when you're usually buying from the local market, we're just trying to push as many as possible. So always look at what has not been exposed to the sun, exposed to the sun because they, lose, they also mm -hmm. lose their nutrients at that point. Okay. So and then vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli. Yeah, so when you're buying your, your cauliflower, it is... Uh, Simple. Now, the cauliflower comes, the, 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 what we eat, the cauliflower, the florets themselves, they already come exposed. So what you need to do is you look at the stem. So look at how this is from straight from the, from, uh, from the, farm. From the farm. So when, it, when the stem is cut off, you are able to see the freshness. It is, it is white in color. The stalks are actually firm. I can't even break them with my hand. Mm. And then you look at the, 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 leaves. The, the leaves. The leaves are also green. And then when you come to the floret itself, they're usually white in color and they're clean. And if you look inside, you're not able to see any spider webs, any, any molding uh -huh. and the like. So they, they are clean. So if you see one that is browning, has a, some brownish stint, it means it's already stayed on the shelves. So what is advisable, look at the florets. And the florets, the other thing is the florets are firm. They are firm and compact. Anything that is already stayed on the shelf for too long, you'll find that it is soft and it's moving away from the stalk. So it's the leaves, the stalk, look at the, the, uh, the cutting of the base, and most important is we look at the floret itself. So does the same apply to the broccoli? The broccoli, uh, the broccoli is a little bit different, huh? mm -hmm. because we're looking at uh, the green florets. So mm -hmm. the same applies. The Very same applies on the stalk, mm -hmm. on uh, the leaves, but most important is what we are looking at, the florets. If you see one that is uh, yellowing or it is brownish, then it means it is not fresh. Mm -hmm. But it should be greenish in color with the farm florets also. Mm -hmm. You can actually feel even from the base here, you can still also know that it is fresh. When you're buying uh, your green vegetables, be it your spinach or your skumawiki, this is the simplest to know if it is fresh or not because one, if you look at the leaves of the spinach or the skuma, they are firm, they are green in color, and they, they, they smell fresh. Because sometimes when you go to the market, you find because they sprinkle water on them, then with time, they start to wither and they start to decay also. So look at the stalks of your vegetable, mm -hmm. meaning uh, when they're cut fresh from the farm, this is what you need to see. And if you are to cut the stem, then you can feel the sound of it also. Yeah. Breaking. That the the breaking of the uh, when you break the stalks, then you'll be able to feel the sound, knowing that yeah. it is fresh. Mm -hmm. And then you look at the leaves; they are crispy, they are full, and they have the color. And the other thing that you can also look at: look at the stalk themselves, and the stalk running all the mid section. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, how the webs are created also. So this means that the skumawiki is fresh. Same to your spinach. The nears have a very short span. 
Yeah. Whether you, you buy it fresh from the market or you want to store it in your fridge, they have a very short span. So what I encourage is usually buy what you need for the day because also they lose their nutrients very fast. They have a very strong smell that, the, that will be able to tell you whether they are fresh or not. And then with the leaves also you'll be able to see uh -huh. how the leaves are. You look at the stalks and if you want to know that they're fresh from the market, they still have the soil because they are usually plucked from the ground hole. hole. Just buy what you need because storing them in the, in the fridge will spoil them.